All right, Blue Moon Estate Sale shoppers, this is the sale you've been waiting for. It is the farm sale out in Lenore City. We're here Friday and Saturday, giving out tickets at 8 a.m., uh, and we will open the doors at 9. So when you come here, um, please park to the right or to the left here of this path that my camera is now showing you. There is the house. This is kind of the gravel path. Uh, hopefully it won't be too muddy. And then you'll get back here to the barn. And you can exit either to the left or to the right if you have a nice uh, four-wheel drive because it does get a bit rough to the right. All right, so let's see what we got for you here. We've got this 2012 John Deere tractor, model number 5065E, only 388 hours on it. Um, and then it comes with um, some attachments, so definitely check out the website for more information. Uh, we are still staging this uh, barn area here, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, it's still pretty tight. We've done pretty much the rest of the house, uh, but that barn is still needing some work. So um, let's see what else we have. The 1976 Ford over here uh, also needs some work. It needs somebody to love on it and give it some some TLC so it can cruise around again. Uh, we've got this flatbed trailer and all sorts of farm equipment here. You can also use the center area here for parking um, if it's dry. And then of course this swing set. So let's run up to the house and see what is there. All right, so now we are at the house itself. We're gonna be entering into this side door here by the carport and you see this Honda CRV that is for sale. So come check this one out. It is in nice shape. Uh, we have other vehicles as well. We've got this scooter, the John Way here, and then the Honda motorcycle. And for the little guys, we've got this um, John Deere tractor, powers up and goes with the pedal, gas pedal there. And all sorts of things for the kids. This uh, vintage carousel horse and another John Deere tractor, but this one you have to pedal the old-fashioned way. And other items here so let's go inside and see what we got as you enter into the front door here of the sunroom we have some kitchen gadgets stored for you here plus the John Deere collection and this is no by no means all of it we have lots more throughout the house a client used to own a video store and a computer store so you will see all kinds of electronics and video paraphernalia throughout the home kitchen gadgets here, this nice KitchenAid mixer. And entering into the kitchen here, we have some wonderful items here. Some cute vintage dishware. And in the middle, lots of nice household stuff, pots and pans, stuff that everybody needs. Um, team is demonstrating the kitchen table and items over here. Thank you for that, y'all. Tea sets. And what else do we have over here? Utensils, mugs, and we got a pantry full of goodies as well. These beautiful seafoam green pieces are all McCoy pottery. And we have our cookie jar collection. How cool are these vintage cookie jars? The only thing I wish is that they were filled with cookies, but that can be your job. More cookie jars. And we've got a couple leather sofas here, a reclining chair, some Christmas items, the love seat that matches it. And this is a teak yacht helm by Edson. Pretty cool. Lots of books and a nice watercolor painting. Oh, we got the Samsung TV and stand, some decor items here, and a pretty nice camera collection here. So we've got the Nikon and the Kodak, a couple of binoculars and some more Kodaks. So the checkout is gonna be here on the main level garage. So here you see some of our more valuable items, the glasses, the jewelry, the guns, and the knives. So definitely you might want to come to the checkout first, but 
We have some other cool stuff in the garage as well. Some tool items and this is gonna be the whole table, but right now we found some cool stuff like these jackets with pins. Here is the dining room. So we've got the baker's rack and a couple of hutches. Lots of cool decor. These are some nice carved chess pieces here. Curio cabinet. Some pottery. This is also a McCoy piece here. And the foosball game. This is a nice Regency table and Singer sewing machine. These are some real plants. Um, I believe this is a ficus and this might be a type of ficus as well. Got the spinning wheel and some various decor and linens. And then just a table of fancy stuff here. We got the vintage collection and the silver plate. All right, now I'm in the primary bedroom and we've got all kinds of eclectic things here. So we've got some hand stitch quilts and blankets and we've got a big screen TV here. Some furniture. As I pan around, we have this little back office area into really office stuff. So all sorts of printers and stereo equipment. Every cable known to man. And also some really fun stuff. So here we go. This is my childhood right here. Nintendo and Genesis and all sorts of cool stuff, including a Wii. So come play with us. We'll have some fun. And if that's not enough for you, we have all this good stuff over here too. So we do have uh, some pieces here. Again, a whole center console of electronics. And then that kind of goes into clothing of all kinds. Uh, we've got the exercise bike, a vacuum, toddler bed. All right, let's talk about these jackets. So all kinds of racing jackets, and this is not all of them. We've got more. We're still setting up here. Uh, more vintage jackets here. And more over here. And then there's a whole stack full of Carhartt jackets too. So come see us. We also have handbags. I know we have um, a coach handbag and a couple other nice ones. Um, Dooney and Burke, I believe. So all kinds of clothes. And then this privacy screen is also for sale. Now I am upstairs and you see all sorts of cool quilts and blankets here. And as we step into this room, we've got some Atlanta Braves clothes, more hand stitch quilts, and the trains. So many trains, Lionel trains, some great items here some vintage toys, cool wedding dress and some costumes, vintage school desk. We've used every available space here for staging, including the tub with all the stuffed animals and Cabbage Patch Kids and vintage dolls. All right, moving right along to another bedroom upstairs. A couple of trunks and some dressers, cute little desk. keyboard, roll away bed, more clothes. And I really like the steamer trunk and more clothes in the middle. All right. I've been calling this the bonus room and it is just full floor to ceiling with holiday, mostly some cool stuff and a couple other things. So we've got a bed, some books, some bedding, Definitely worth a trip up here. Got lots more linens up here and some hand stitched quilts. Got the Life Magazine collection here. This pretty cool robot, the 
I really like. Tambourine, vintage sewing. This closet even goes back here with some clothes. More videos, you'll see them on every single floor. Some sheets and other items. Then the final level for you is the basement and pool level. So we've got all of this stuff out here. Please be very, very careful. This is an in-ground pool, so do not step on the blue. It will not support you. But we got some cool stuff. I do like this uh, John Deere looking wagon. All right, now we are in the basement proper, and this is a veritable treasure chest. I mean, this place was, I'll just say, over my head in in items. You couldn't even walk through. We had to carve out a path. And there's just really cool stuff here. So we've got some lathes. There is a metal lathe, there's a wood lathe. Croquet set. So we've got these vintage candy machines, some bikes, some Halloween stuff. Uh, we've got a cement mixer. Some lawn mowers. Uh, this coffin is full of Halloween stuff. So there is Count Dracula and a mummy. You gotta check it out. Uh, we have a side-by-side -side go kart for you here. So if you're into go karting, hey, check it out. Could be yours. We've got this great ladder. A couple of carpet machines here. Nice sturdy cart. We've got the holiday section down here as well. Lots of Christmas trees, really nice pre-lit ones. We've got some nice collectible Lionel ornaments. And we've got some computers in the box, like that Dell Tower computer. This is a server cage, so if you have a bunch of computers that you need to you know, keep secure, this would be a good one for you. Uh, we've got this air hockey table that um, just needs a little bit of repair, but can be super cool if it's working. Tire shelves full of Disney VHS tapes. A couple of them sealed and never been used. Uh, we got the pool cues, the wakeboard. Uh, we got the pool table. Oh, and this is pretty cool. Check out this Budweiser King of Beer sign and the, uh, the grape soda clock, it does work. The railroad clock, Miller time sign, G.I. Joe lunchbox. We got some more Lionel stuff, some more John Deere stuff. I wanna say that's a California reason in the director's chair, not 100% sure. Really heavy duty dolly and just lots and lots of more stuff. So electronics and boots and toys and computer stuff. An entire room here of tools and computers, electronics. A cabinet for you there. Um, let's see what else we have here. We've got some movie posters. Princess Di, The Baywatch Crew, John Wayne. Scarlet and Rhett, uh, The Lone Ranger, Indy, and then A League of Their Own Crew. We've got these nice glass display cases, so if anyone is in retail, they just need a bit, a little bit of cleaning and they would be really good as new. We've got some record albums, some audio visual, and yes, more videotapes. This here is a ping pong table. So this would be a good find for somebody. It's got the net and the paddles there. So much stuff, I'm sure I forgot something because there's just tons and tons of stuff. We can't wait to see you out here Friday and Saturday for this huge Lenore City sale. Come say hi.